Well, the thing is, money comes before regulation. Money is simply a means by which people interact with one another, how we exchange our time and energy with one another. Now, Bitcoin is information and energy. It is an energy-based money that is in the form of information. So it makes it very porous, very transportable. And that is why it supersedes regulation because you cannot regulate information. Governments have tried, right? Mm -hmm. You can block sites on the internet, restrict people's access to information. In the darker ages, you burn books, but that never really works because mm -hmm. information is pervasive. It's just everywhere. And the only way to counteract the spread of information is through surveillance states or authoritarian measures. And to control Bitcoin, basically, you, be, you have to stick a camera in someone's home and monitor them 24-7 mm -hmm. to make sure they didn't write down some information on a piece of paper. And I don't think that's a uh, state that anyone wants to live in, right? That's a pure Orwellian hell. Mm -hmm. So states can try to regulate Bitcoin and say, you know, this is money and it must be controlled. But that is fighting against the tide. It's fighting against 